Well, now you're just seeing all these companies, because their stock price is way down, have to lay everyone off. You're seeing, you know, just even in the real estate industry, lenders can't make loans yep. like they used to. You can't, you lose all refi business. That's right. You know, you're seeing people now have a really hard choice because they can't afford a home anymore with rates so high. And then you got people so who four, would have- four hundred four hundred thousand dollar home in Vegas, four hundred thousand dollar mortgage, four tens the price here, median price, four hundred thousand dollar mortgage in January was seventeen hundred bucks, maybe 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 thirteen hundred bucks. Today, that same loan is going to be thirty seven hundred dollars. Yeah. That's what I was looking. At. It's exploded, man, three, almost three times, thirty seven hundred bucks before the PMI, which they're going to force on you. Mm. Uh, before HOA fees, which they probably have here, mm. before maintenance, et cetera, right? Right. So, like, you can't, you can't. Now, if I got a thirty-seven hundred dollar house payment on an entry level house, and I got a thousand dollar or fifteen hundred dollar rents down here, what's going to happen is this price is going to come down. The mortgage doesn't come down; it can come down, but this rent I have rents are going to explode. Oh yeah. The Fed will print will literally not only they quit printing paper now they're going to manufacture renters in America. So do you think that rents will continue to go up both residentially and commercially? And will that make it harder for businesses or people trying to get tenants to actually get tenants in? I, I, I agree. I think the rents in tighter markets are going to go up. Yeah. Um, and I also agree, or I disagree, but agree from our prior conversations with, I think the the actual uh, sell price is kind of where it's at. It may yeah. not increase too much, though it, I see it that it could still. We've yeah. still got inflationary. If they give reduction, what causes inflation, right? Dumping a lot of money into yeah. the market. Which we just if they did, yeah. reduce the debt by ten to $20,000 for everybody that went to college, you know, mm -hmm. got a loan, I don't care. Politically, I don't even care about that stuff. Yeah. I mean, whatever, right? It doesn't matter. So, oh, what does that mean it's going to do? Yeah. Well, you're, you're dumping uh, a couple billion dollars yeah. in the market again, right? Boom. Yeah. I mean, because that's, they're talking about actually some of the people, if they paid their loan off, then they're going to get cash to do it, right? So one way or the other, it comes yeah. out. Um, I agree with everything they said. You're not, you're going to have uh, mortgage lenders. Nobody's refinancing. Yeah. Right now. No, not at all. You know, Everyone you don't did refinance it. when the rates go yeah. up, right? So, Everyone so, did it back well, in 2020. You didn't, but for, for uh, 10, uh, not quite 10 years, but for, you know, five, six years, the refinance business has been crazy. You've made a lot yeah. of money doing it. Well, that's over. Oh, yeah. Right? The, I mean, it'll the, come back eventually. It'll come back, you yeah. know, because it's going to go up and down, and people are going to refinance because there's different reasons to refinance, yeah. right? Not just to get a low, so much lower interest rate. The crazy part is people are refinancing, and not going from a 30-year mortgage to a 15, Yeah, they took a new 30-year mortgage out, Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. So they went with a lower rate, and they've got a smaller payment, but then they just added eight years yeah. to their, you know, whatever they had left on their 30-year yeah. mortgage instead of going, hey, we're, I'm going to go down to a 15-year mortgage. And pay a little and still more. Be, uh, yeah, a little right more than what I have to, yeah. but less than probably where I was at before. Yeah. So, so, so that's, there's lots of reasons to refinance. Maybe pay for some education, maybe pay for... Um, a wedding. I've heard people doing things. Yeah. There's lots of reasons to refinance. It doesn't matter that. It's a matter of. Um, so there's going to be people that are still refinancing right yeah. now. If they've got equity in that home, they're going to pull it out. To the prior thing that Grant Cardone said, yeah, right now in the market, when rates go up two, three points, four points, whatever, mm -hmm. you know, which it didn't hasn't gone up that much yet, but they're predicting. Yeah, a couple um, more points. Ten-year Treasury sitting at about three and a half percent today, yeah. on the 13th of December. Yeah, you know where we last looked at it today. Maybe it's uh -huh. going up and down. The point is, uh, you know, it's gone up a couple points. You factor that into what your payment was, or or you can't go out and buy it. It's yeah. easy. Okay, so maybe you did take a twenty percent hit on the value of what you had in your home. Mm -hmm. Real estate's never been like the stock market. It's not uh, initial. Equity. You, you can't just turn around and say, I'm going to get the equity out of my place. Yeah. Right? It's a long-term play, yeah. right? And long-term, uh, yeah, you, you should be changing with the market and, and looking at that. But, but here's the thing. So rates went up. It's harder for builders to get 
loans for the construction loan, yeah. right? Uh, if they've got a really good lender that they've worked with for a lot of years, they maybe can be able to still get the construction. Construction lending has always been a local market. Mm -hmm. It's where kind of the um, boutique or the, the small regional yeah. banks have had clients with Edge Homes, Ivory, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Arrive, those types of builders where they, hey, we'll work with them, we'll keep doing stuff, that's our relationship, that's our bread and butter. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, loans are going to be skidding down. And so I can't see if there's not more product coming on the market in these tight markets. Mm -hmm. Rents are going to go up. We're going to have a shortage. It, it, they've made it in Utah here, and I know there's other states that you can rent, that you can finish off a portion of your basement or a part of your house and put a rental property. Yeah. That's one thing that they've come up with to try to handle the housing shortage we've had. Yeah. Right? So, I mean, from a legislative standpoint, they've come out and said, the city can't stop you from adding an apartment within your home. Really, I didn't know that. Yeah, they came so out. So that's with that. is this that last, where this like, last year the is that where like the basement apartment comes into play? Yep. It, it's the mother-in-law apartment, uh -huh. or you know, there's always been like, well, this part of the city you could do it, and no, you can't do it here. So, so a lot of times, what's happened is the lower income areas mm -hmm. have had you know people just doing it, and the cities haven't been on top of them. Um, it's the neighbors in the high-end neighborhoods that are like, you know, this guy sitting on a million dollar home yeah he's raised his family him and his wife are there they want to travel a little bit more they got a five thousand square foot house yeah you know Maybe not, kids not huge not out. small but it's it's way more than they need yeah it's like this is crazy what we actually have a, a kitchen we built down in the basement to make life easier when we had big parties yeah we got bedrooms down there what if we put a wall up right so there's some people like that well who tells on those people it's the neighbors yeah. Don't you rent, do rentals in our neighborhood, you know? <laughs> so there's, the, it's such a problem. Not, not that issue, but the housing problem, mm -hmm. right? If builders aren't going to build because the markets go, and, and this wasn't the issue when they actually first passed this, even with the building that we have in the market, mm -hmm. even with all the new rentals, we're still short. Yeah. And we're not the only place in the country that that's happening. So you've got um, the state and I've heard other states doing it, you can build, here's the parameters, you can build an accessory apartment, mm -hmm. is what I think they, they deem it as now, the mother-in-law, the accessory apartment, in any home. You have to go by building codes and do all that other stuff, Yeah. but no city can stop you from doing it. Now, there's some cities that have like, we don't want all that, you know, coming. So I've heard they've done variations of it, but my understanding is when they passed it that they can't do that. Right, so there might be some little battles of stuff going back and forth. The point is that the state could see. No matter what, if we keep building as fast as we are, we can't Catch ma up. match the demand. So, yeah. uh, you know what? We're in a different place, right? Mm -hmm. So all those neighborhoods that were thought of as a little higher end neighborhood, yeah. well, those people don't want to move. That's yeah. where they raise their family. They want to have. They don't want to move. They got ten times the house they need. Yeah. And we, you know, like before my my grandparents died, they were they were using. The kitchen, the front room, and the, the bedroom, bedroom. Yeah. Right? That's and the it. bathroom. Yeah. They were using that often. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's never right. Yeah. That's what they were using. These, you know, the, the whole upstairs was, they just look, put a lock on the. Really? The, yeah. And they, they turned the, the heat off upstairs, you know. Yeah. Um, they didn't want to pay for the, you know, yeah, the utilities exactly. of it. it. It's just more house than they needed. They yeah. raised a big family there and uh, seven kids, and now it's, you know, it's just that's where they were yeah, at. Yeah, they don't know? need it's, it anymore. And and so it's crazy. So it's a good thing, right? I mean, yeah. they passed something that was good. I, I I just don't see rates going down now. I just don't. Yeah. I don't see it. And I I can see that there might be a little price change in that uh, on on buying a home. Mm -hmm. You know, if it keeps it rates keep going up, um, there might be a little bit of a change. I don't see much of it though. I just because yeah. all the the concrete, all the all the other stuff that they've made through this run-up, um, all the concrete companies have bought their new cement trucks, right? Mm -hmm. $300,000 vehicles, right? I mean, yeah. they, they've got new inventory, they uh, needed more employees, so they now raised the guy from 35 bucks to 50 bucks an hour, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever it is. I mean, all those changes have been made. Right? Yeah. I, not that those are exact numbers, but I know that that's taken place, right? Yeah. All the steel workers that are going vertical, I mean, that's a trade you got to know what you're doing right yeah, so the, exactly. those guys are making more money and they allowed that to happen it's just where we're at i mean yeah. it's 
uh, wages didn't change for 25 years really yeah. that much, right? I mean, not that much, but they, they had to because yeah. there was a need for these specialized workers. Oh, yeah. And so I think that that's, um, I, I'm, that base has been changed, you know, and, and, and we don't have finalization or resolution to the supply chain.